a kid's book about failure. Better together. This book is best read together. Grown up and kid. A kid's book about failure. Intro for grown ups. Simply because of the fear of failure, many dreams have not come true and many opportunities have not been seized. Some plans are never completed and some relationships are never built. But why? Who said failure is bad? Why do we fear failure so much? When did we learn that it's safer not to try at all? If you ask just about any kid today, they'd say failure is bad. And that, my friend, is the reason I wrote this book. Fear of failure creates a hurdle which can seem so big it's impossible to overcome. This book was created to start a conversation about failure and challenge kids to think differently about it. I hope as this book is read, kids will begin to see that failure is not the end, but an important pit stop on the journey. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Lamon, and I've failed many, 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 many times. So many, in fact, I've lost count. That's why I decided to write a book about failure. As a baby, I would fall when I was learning how to walk. As a kid, I couldn't pronounce words that started with the st strike, straight, strawberry, street. As a teenager, I would fail a test after studying for countless hours. And as an adult, I've gotten a few parking tickets. Okay, maybe more than a few. Each and every time I failed, I felt sad, embarrassed, hurt, angry, lost, and disappointed. I would tell myself I was smart, I lacked intelligence, and I was completely worthless. I felt like I wasn't good enough. So I decided I was not ever going to fail again. I wasn't going to try anymore. No more riding my bike, no more taking any test, no more driving my car. Anytime there was a 0.1% chance I might fail, I wouldn't even try. That way, I would never have to fail again. Sounds amazing, right? No. It's actually kind of awful. You see, failure is a part of life. And guess what? It is okay to fail. In fact, failure is cool. Let me prove it to you. When I was in the fourth grade, there was a contest to see who could give the best speech. I gave a speech about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I thought it was excellent, but another kid won. I could have stopped trying because I didn't win, because I failed. But I didn't try again, and guess what? Now I have given speeches in 47 different states to more than 500,000 people. Imagine if I had been too 
afraid to try again. What would have happened then? I would have missed out on so many opportunities, relationships, and friendships. You see, failure is not final. It is a part of the process. It is a part of the process. It is part of the process. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. Because every time you fail, you grow. You don't see it in the moment, but it's happening. And the more you fail, the more you grow. When you don't fail, guess what? You don't grow. So I want to teach you how to fail successfully. One, when you fail, it doesn't mean you are a failure. Two, you can learn from every failure. Three, failure is not final unless you let it be. Four, failure can give you the tools to achieve your goals. I know failure seems scary. And it's not fun, but what if you didn't try? Sure, you'd never fail, but you'd also never succeed. You'd never become who you want to be, your true best self. So what's next? Try, fail, Get back up, learn from it, try again, and don't give up. You owe it to yourself.